So today, I'm going to share with you a really cool way to save some money on your DJ equipment. If you want to make some purchases, here's a cool way to do it. It'll save you money. It'll definitely save you money in the long run, too. Some people know this trick, some people don't. It's not really a trick, it's just a smart way of doing business, and a lot of people are not doing it. I'm going to turn you on to it today. And the reason I was thinking about this and decided to do this video is because I'm in this new Facebook group. It's called the DJ Help Desk. And my friend Jason made a post about Sam Ash closing all their stores. Somebody in the comment section says something to the effect of Amazon for the win. I buy all my gear on Amazon. You know, that's not the best way to save money on your DJ equipment. There are two prices that you need to be aware of. One of them is called MAP, Minimum Advertised Price. What this is, is the price that the dealer has to agree they can't advertise it for less per dealer agreement with whoever the distributor or manufacturer is of the equipment, be it ADJ or Chauvet or Pioneer or whatever. And then there's the price that the retailer bought the item for. So you've got MAP, the price that they have to advertise for. They can't advertise it for less. And you've got the price that they paid for it. The store bought the equipment from Electro Voice or PV or whatever. They own it for that, but they can't advertise it for less than the MAP price. It does not mean they can't sell it for less than the MAP. That's the secret that a lot of people don't know. Not even a secret. It's just, like I said, business. So what that means is if you buy something online from an authorized dealer, you're buying it at MAP price. Minimum advertised price. If you go to the store or make a phone call and talk to somebody, they can actually sell it to you for less than the MAP price. True story. There's a profit margin between MAP and what they paid for it. Somewhere in there is where you should be paying for your equipment. You shouldn't be paying MAP. That's a lot. That's what happens when you go to Amazon. That's what happens when you buy anything online. Or as if you make a phone call and you talk to somebody and develop a relationship with them, they're going to give you a break on it. You're not going to pay MAP most of the time. Be cool with these people. And they will take care of you, especially if you become a repeat customer, if you develop a relationship with a retailer, forget about it. Every time you call them, they're going to take care of you. Because the last thing they're going to want to do is lose you to a different retailer. So here are some do's and don'ts. All right? Do. Be cool. Be nice to these people, these retailers. The cooler you are to them, the cooler they're going to be to you. Do not put retailer A and retailer B in a bidding war. Let me tell you why. Believe it or not, most of these retailers know each other. They know this game and they hate it. If you try to pit one retailer against another, trying to get a couple bucks off of a piece of equipment, you're done. They don't want to do business with you anymore. So be cool. Be loyal to them. They'll be loyal to you. They want your business. Be cool. Don't put them against each other and save some money on your gear simply by making a phone call. Call these stores and talk to these people. Call a retailer you like. Make a relationship with a sales associate there and they'll take care of you. Think about down the road. Hey, remember me? Yeah, I bought those speakers from you. Now I need to buy a controller. Oh yeah, we'll hook you up, dude. Give it to you. It's, it's map at this. I'm going to give it to you for this. You're going to save money. So tip for the day. Free tip. That's it. Thanks for watching. I might do some more videos later. I've got some stuff on my mind, but I wanted to get this out there real quick. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. If you got some tips on buying equipment, let us know what they are in the comments section. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.